Okay then, 9th of November 2021, Pioneer DJ have just dropped at 8 o'clock this morning the brand new XDJ RX3. To be honest, I don't think many people were expecting it, um, but um, we weren't expecting the stock <laughs> today, but the stock's just dropped as well. So I am racing from the Rat Cave to the Newbury showroom um, to go and pick one up so I can shoot my video for it for all you guys. There she is then. The old faithful. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go then, uh, quick impromptu live stream back in the DJ kit showroom, but I have got Chedoy now heading back to the Rat Cave to, to get some nice footage uh, done for you guys. But um, first impressions of it, to be honest, after just having a little like look at it on that live stream um, that I just did, the Facebook live stream from the showroom, the screen, it's all about the screen for me and I forgot about the, um, the track preview as well, which is a touch and the 3.5 AUKS. Um, but anyway, I am spoiler alerting. So um, Pioneer DJ XDJ RX3, it's out there. Let's get it. Here we go then peeps, successfully got the Pioneer DJ XDJ RX3 swiftly and safely back to the Rat Cave. Uh, apologies about my car video ramblings. As you can probably tell, I was quite excited. Um, but what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm actually gonna keep it quite simple. Uh, I'm gonna start with an unboxing and um, sort of a first impressions overlook of the XDJ RX3. Uh, and then I will do another video which delves in a lot more in depth to the new and outstanding features. So first things first, Let's get it out of this outer brown box because that's always the most awkward thing to try and do on a camera. Uh, and then we will see what you get when you buy the controller. So here it is then, the brand new Pioneer DJ XDJ RX3 in this um, box, which we've sort of seen the same similar design of box over the past um, lot of Pioneer releases like the S11, the CDJ3000, stuff like that. Um, here we go. So let's try and do this as simply and as less not messy as possible. Um, first things first, power plug, obviously UK power plug. Um, and then that's a European power plug, which I obviously don't need being here in the UK. USB cable, your manual and sort of safety instructions, etc. And then this is the controller itself. This is pretty big, I have to say. Um, so I'm gonna sort of take this off camera, take it out of the box and then get it set up and we can have a little look at what it looks like. So there's the new XDJ RX3 and that wicked new 10.1 inch screen. Uh, right, I'm gonna get this plugged in and let's have a little look at it. So here is the XDJ RX3 fresh out the box and plugged in. Um, let's just take a little look around. Like I say, I am going to be doing a more in-depth um, walkthrough of this controller in a separate video, but this is just my first impressions of it. And let's face it, the first thing that pops out is that screen. So 10.1 inches, full HD screen, and it's the exact same workflow as the CDJ 3000s. Um, you've got the waveform down here, which has got the track preview. Um, which is so good that you've got the Q-Link um, on this RX3. That's something which you only got on the um, DJM 900 Nexus 2 and the DJM V10 mixer to use the track preview function on the CDJ 3000s. So wicked that you've got that um, on this RX3. Like I said, exactly the same screen, but we'll go into the screen um, more in depth in my uh, next video. Um, so yeah, 10.1 inch screen, which is bigger actually than the CDJ3000s. 
Um, the jog wheels look the same size to me as the RX2, but you've got the in jog displays, which again, HD in jog displays. We saw that on the DDJ range. Um, and these, obviously on the DDJ 1000, it's full size jogs. These jogs look to me the same size as the DDJ 800. So the same HD, um, I assume the same HD um, artwork inside the jog wheels as the 800. Moving down, you've still got your eight um, performance pads down here. Uh, the pad modes, you've got uh, eight different pad modes. I'll be going through them on my next video. Um, you've still got that massive, nice pitch fader there. Master tempo, tempo adjust. You've got the the, the master, the beat sync, the jog mode. Now, this is this has been brought in um, to this RX3. This wasn't on the RX2, and that is the jog adjust. So that's really important in my opinion. We'll be testing that out in my next video. Um, you've got all of your kind of bits and bobs which you would expect to see. Two USB inputs and up here you can see record box and Serato. Now I know that this is a record box hardware unlock. So when you plug this into record box, it will unlock performance mode completely free of charge so you won't need a plan. And the Serato logo on there, this is going to be Serato compatible in early 2022. So let's move over to the mixer section now. Your two channel mixer um, and three band EQ where you would expect it. And then this is your color um, knobs here. A new addition to this RX3 compared to the RX2 is you've got six different color effects, which are the same color effects, which is on the DJM 900 Nexus 2 mixer. Um, also similar to the 900 Nexus 2 mixer, you've now got 14 different beat effects over here compared to eight that were on the RX2. Um, and everything else is kind of in, in the same place that you would expect. Over here, you've got a brand new, um, the AUX input, you've got line, which is the RCA input, and then portable, which is the 3.5 inch input. Um, so, you know, your sort of mini headphone jack kind of vibe. So more options to plug stuff in. Um, I mean, people sort of call it an AUX cable, I think these days anyway. Two size headphones on the front, the 3.5 and the quarter inch jack. Something else which actually I believe is new is the rings around the play and cue buttons. Uh, I think that they've taken that from the CDJ3000 as well. I mean, looking at this, my first impressions of it is actually there is quite a lot taken from the CDJ3000, um, just looks wise, and that's not even delving into like the screen and the functions and stuff like that. So you've got your two microphone inputs with um, two band EQ, low and high, and obviously your uh, volume there. You've also got on off or talk over switch. And speaking of ins and outs, let's take a look at the back. So you've got two master outputs, one which is an XLR and one which is an RCA and then also a quarter inch jack balanced booth out as well. Your USB output, as I mentioned before, that's so you can connect it to a laptop to use Rekordbox and then Serato once that is enabled. Then you've got phono and line inputs for both channels. And then those two auxiliary inputs that I mentioned, the RCA and the 3.5 mil. Also should say as well that the microphones are combi, so you can go XLR or quarter inch jack on the microphones. So with the line and the phono inputs per channel, that obviously means that you can plug in uh, CDJs or media players or whatever, and also turntables on the phono. Um, but this is still a two channel mixer, so you will have to be flicking between the two and you will obviously give up one of your channels here when you're using it in standalone mode with a USB. And I would say everything else is pretty much in, this, in the same place where you would expect it to but plenty to go through on the new features on the screen, which like I say, I will be delving deeper into in my next video. So gang, I'm gonna leave it there for this one. That was my unboxing and quick first impressions and overview of the brand new Pioneer XDJ RX3. Keep your eye out for the next video, which once it's done, I will link it in the comments. That will be more of an in-depth review of this unit. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video, share it to anyone who you think you might be interested. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the DJ Kit YouTube channel. Until next time, gang, stay safe. Peace.